Israel, we're talking about a nation. So let's make it personal. Today, God says he calls you by your name. Today, I am going to exalt you before your whole family. I am going to exalt you before all of your friends. I am going to exalt you before all the people that don't believe in you. I am going to exalt you before Dade County, Broward County. I am going to exalt you before everybody. God says, today I am going to exalt you before the eyes of all Israel. But here's the kicker. God said, why am I going to do it? To let them know I am with you. God said, it's still independent of you. God said, I just want to prove to them uh-huh. that when somebody would trust me and obey me, uh-huh. I'll place them so high and I will speak when they cannot speak. Uh-huh. And I will begin to declare the word and I will let them know I did it for them. Yeah. That's what he did for Joshua. Yeah. He said, today I am going to lift you up so that everybody can see that I am with you. It is nothing like fulfilling the will of God doesn't matter if it's professional. It doesn't matter if it's business. It doesn't matter if it's ministry. It is nothing like fulfilling the will of God and knowing that God is standing right by you. God said, I will not allow you to fail at my own expense. If you fail, check your faith walk. Check your love walk. Check whether or not you're obedient or disobedient. God said, if you fail, it won't be because of me. He says, so because I waited, the Bible declares they that wait upon the Lord, he shall do what? Renew their strength or they shall renew their strength and they shall do what? They shall mount. Going somewhere with this. They shall mount up with wings as that of an eagle. They will begin to run and they won't get tired. They won't get weary. God says they that wait. Number one, God has identified a group of people. Not everybody. They, who are they? The ones that choose to wait. But the ones that choose to wait God's way. Not the ones that choose to wait while doing their own thing. The one that choose to wait God's way. God said those are the ones that will be able to renew their strength. And when their strength is renewed, they will begin to mount up. In your season, God will put you to the point where he begins to mount you. Now understand this, when you are mounted on the wall. Uh-huh. Take a flat screen TV for example. If I place the TV here, only but so many people can actually see the TV. So eventually the TV goes from being placed here to being placed up there. But in order for the TV to remain high, it has to be mounted in. He says, They that wait, they shall run and not get weary. They shall mount. Mount. When you mount something, you lift it up higher above the place where it was, but the mounting ensures that it's locked into a locked position. In other words, if you can if you can wait. Throughout the process, keep your eyes focused on what God is doing. God says when it comes time for you to be mounted, I personally will begin to mount you, but I'm going to put you in a locked position where you can't fall. You will go up and people will be expecting you to come down, but God says, no, they're locked in. He says, I got them locked in in a locked position. They cannot come out. So you got to see, this is the reason why you got to know the word. Because even in tough times, it's the word that keeps you in a locked position. The word of God will lock you in a position. And guess what? In order for the TV to be mounted, it can't get up there by itself. So what God would do, God will begin to send his angels to help lift you above where you are. The angels of God will come and be your assistants. He gives his angels charge over you to keep you. So God said, I'm going to mount them up in their season. But when I mount them up, it's a sure thing that I'm going to have them in a locked position. So now the TV is on the wall. We're talking about my season. Based upon what God has put in you. For him to be glorified. Think about this. It's my season because of what God has placed in me, inside of me. It is my season because of the unseen. The the unseen, the unseen. So now the TV is on the wall. 
But I started thinking, well, it doesn't, it's, it, it can't be about the TV. So when you think about the purpose of a TV being mounted there versus remaining there, so God began to tell me, it is not so much about the TV, but rather what has to be transmitted from the TV. It is not about the TV being here. The reason why the TV has to go there, because there's too many people back there that could not see it up here, that must see it up there. So what God will begin to do, God will begin to elevate you. So he had to let elevate the TV for more exposure and visibility. But it was contingent upon the magnitude of people that was back there, not the ones in the front. Not the ones in the front. So it was all about the information that is being transmitted from the TV that has to be transmitted to the people. The receivers of the information. That's why the TV had to be lifted. All because of that. So God said, listen, when I'm not the mother, it's not even about you, but it's about everything that's in you. The enemy is not even after, he's not after trying to make you look like you broke, make you look like you rich. The enemy is after what is on the inside of you. Because if you ever get up there, the only reason why there's a need for the TV to be up there, because there's more people. So the further you go in your vision, God said, I got to give you more exposure. I got to give you more visibility. There's more people that's what's on the inside of you. More people got to be touched by that. So now I have to elevate you. Now I, gotta, I have to elevate you and I got to put you in a locked position. <laughs> 